This is the emergency alert system. Do you? Do you? All normal programming has been discontinued during this emergency. I can't see the sign. This is not a test. Succumb to the sounds. I repeat, this is not a test. Let them fill you up. Please stand by. <laughs> Alrighty! We're about to get into another analog horror that I was recommended. It's called the Stone Cold Full Series, an analog horror and found footage series. This is a national emergency. During the past night, we have received multiple sighting and reports of so-called demon eyes. Enjoy your last days. I don't know too much about it. I believe this was also called like a Medusa type analog horror. I could be tripping. I could have something else in my mind. But we're gonna check this out. Um, it's that type of time, 12.56 a.m. It's that type of time, dude. We interrupt our programming at the request. We interrupt our programming okay. at the request of the White House. This is the emergency alert system. All normal programming has been discontinued during this emergency. This is not a test. I repeat, this is not a test. Okay. Please stand by. Please stand by. I'm standing by. The White House. This is a national emergency. During the past night, we have received multiple sightings and reports of so-called demon eyes. We have been fighting hard to eliminate the virus through sanitation and times. of the infected. With severe losses among our ranks, we have resorted to cleansing the contaminated of our country. Removal of the... Please pay attention to this message during the next few minutes at all costs. Okay. So if, if, you, get, if you get contaminated, they just off you, my nigga. They don't try to heal you, they're just like, we gotta kill you. But what exactly is this issue to us citizens? For now, we, and all official announcements that should follow, will refer to the viral infection as the Medusa virus. Medusa virus. The Medusa virus is spread through direct, sustained eye contact with the infected person. As of the current moment, we have not been able to conduct any tests relating to the pathogen or virus. What should you do to help out? Telephone lines should only be used for absolute emergency. This does not include communication before certain death. <laughs> These niggas said, yo, if you about to die, don't pick up the fucking phone. Don't pick up the fucking phone. If you know you are locked up in a corner, there is nowhere for you to run, and the phone is behind you, don't call us, nigga. Take that L, boy. Take that L. Lock all doors if possible, and blind all windows. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They're throwing Lock in little. If possible, and you saw that? They're throwing in little fucking. Ah, I I gotta keep my eyes open for that. And blind all windows. Do not attempt to go outside, and do not attempt to help help the infected. When in close vicinity of an infected individual, keep your head down and do not attempt to look at their eyes. Avoid human interaction at all costs. Do not attempt to blind yourself. Was this like Bird Box? No. Symptoms of the Medusa virus may, may symptoms of the Medusa virus vary depending on the stage of the infection, which all lasts around two minutes, except for the final stage, which has no set culmination. Stage one: contamination through eye contact. The eyes and eye area will start to swell, and pupils will expand abnormally large. The infected may experience heavy sweating, nausea, and pain in the upper facial area. Currently, tests have concluded that the virus can be eliminated at this stage, though. Surgical surgical removal of the eyeballs. Through, through surgical removal of the eyeballs. Stage 2, muscle loss. During this stage, the infected will be permanently blinded in one, if not both eyes. Severe nausea, vertigo, and fainting may happen occasionally. Subjects in this stage will experience extreme pain and near paralysis. Jesus. Beyond and including this stage, elimination of symptoms or the virus is not possible. Patients may die during this stage. Okay. Stage two and you're fucking out of there, dude. Stage three, final stage. 
As more muscle mass is lost, full paralysis of all areas below the neck and above the chin will occur about 35 seconds into the stage. Infected persons have been observed to angle their heads towards people and make quiet whimpering sounds. Studies show these may be calls for help, but citizens are advised to refrain from any contact. It is speculated that patients will hear loud voices in their head and, before the paralysis, will start to scream loudly. Strokes may happen, and the eyeballs will explode, allowing direct infection of the eyeball wounds. It is unknown how this wound can infect, but scientists are actively conducting tests. Eyeballs will explode, nigga. As we speculate, there is no long-term solution or returning turning to normal life. Tell your children goodbye and do whatever you need to do before the end. Damn! This is the final goodbye. I repeat, this is the final goodbye. Oh, there, buddy. I see you down here. Subtitles? My bad, dog. I got you. Discovery report on investigative procedures of the Medusa virus as of August 5, 1998. Report submitted by Dr. Engler from the National Virology Lab of the United States of America. All findings and results shall be kept confidential unless pardoned by the President of the United States. Recording on July 13th, 1988. PM EST, June 13th, 1998. Results from testing this morning has concluded that the Medusa virus's symptoms are different than we thought. The swelling of the eyeballs seems to be caused by the virus moving through the bloodstream towards the brain and face where it can replicate best. Oh. The violent uh, travel of the blood seems to be extremely damaging to the cerebellum and spinal nerves. Further tests will be done to conclude how the virus is contracted. Are we about to watch somebody get it? Are they about to bump into somebody who has it on the street? July 17th, 1988. ...EST, June 17th, 1998. No information has been found about the transmission to the virus. We believe it has something to do with eye contact activating the amygdala and causing a sense of threat, which uh, somehow allows the virus to enter the body without being noticed by the immune system. A test will be coming completed later today among the frozen corpses to see why this is. No, where are you walking to? W late night stroll? No, where are you walking to, dog? Go home. 11.51 p.m. EST. June 17, 1998. After careful recalculation and rerunning of trials, we have still not been able to find out anything. If knowledge is control, it seems we humans are not in control anymore. No, no cure, cure. Has been discovered here, but we will have to cross check that with the other teams. I guess the only plan is to not look anybody in the eyes? But then they said that even blinding yourself may not help? Did they say that, right? 1.04 p.m. EST, August 5th, 1998. While testing a cure that melts the virus proteins, we have stumbled across a new mutation of the virus. 
The strain seems to be much lighter than the previous one and has evolved to be transmitted through the air. Through the air! So, unlike other airborne diseases, the virus seems to be in complete control of the direction it floats in. The symptoms are not confirmed to be the same. Dr. Engler, I've inhaled it. The seal wasn't gas proof. Damn, yes, it's slow. It doesn't matter anymore. Fuck the eyeballs. It's over. Nah, just remove your eyes. doesn't work anymore. Just remove your eyes. doesn't work anymore, buddy, because now it's in the air, and apparently that shit can go where it wants to. Controlling its own flow. You're done. We interrupt our programming at the request of the White House. This is the emergency alert system. All normal programming has been discontinued during this emergency. This is not a test. I repeat, this is not a test. Please stand by. Please stand by. This is a national emergency. New discoveries have been made on the Medusa virus. Scientists from the government's National Virology Lab have concluded that a new mutation of the virus has been discovered. Please pay close attention to the device you are viewing this from and lock all windows, doors, and vents. If you are outdoors, please keep this broadcast on while you swiftly make your way indoors. Do not have much time. Follow the steps listed before. Hurry up, nigga. The new mutation allows the virus to transmit it through airborne methods in the form of a thick orange gas. Do not inhale the gas and cover your face with a wet towel. Thick orange you can. gas. The government will provide advanced filtering to the air conditioning systems to keep a supply of air to all households. It's slow for these niggas, bro. How how long is the government gonna take? Right? We gonna have we gonna be waiting for these filters for how long? How many niggas already died from the orange gas? It's too late, nigga. It's too late. What to do when indoors? Lock all windows, doors, and vents. Seal with airtight products. Turn on air conditioning systems. What to do when outdoors? Suff- Alright. <coughs> okay. Head indoors immediately, covering your face and closing your eyes. Yeah, if you outdoors, you're, you're a goner, nigga. These what niggas say, the kill yourself, mutant? kill yourself, kill yourself. What does the new mutant do? The gas has a strong smell of pie or cake. Once the gas is smelt, it can cause a strong feeling of nostalgia and the loss of self-control, similar oh, to being drunk. The infected will be attracted towards the smell and will follow the trail of smell unconsciously. You will lose complete awareness and victims may experience the replaying of memories involving the smell. Victims may appear to be walking around normally, but they are beyond saving. As the victim walks towards the origin of the scent, more and more of the virus enters the respiratory system, eventually producing the same effects of the first discovered strain of the Medusa virus. Coughing, sneezing, Paralysis inflammation of eyes, suffocation, If you Paralysis. see someone walking around drunkly Blood from through eyes. the window, humming or murmuring, alert authorities immediately and refrain from watching their death. Avoid exercise or any activity requiring heavy breathing and stay isolated indoors. May God help us all. I repeat, avoid exercise or any activity requiring heavy breathing and stay isolated indoors. May Shit. It's worse than COVID, chat. Huh? Oh, I, so I think we're getting a, a recording of somebody being led to the orange smoke or led to led to the gas the gas got in them and now they're just sleepwalking away i think that's what this has been the whole time that makes more sense now because i'm like where the fuck is this nigga walking to <laughs> you crying can you see what's happening and you just can't control yourself or nah, you're having, you're, cause they said that the cake smell will make you have like memories, either sad memories or just prominent memories of that smell. So maybe he's just having some crazy memory. He's crying right now. He's just like, man, remember when I had this nice ass cake on my first birthday?
And then my motherfucking stepdad came in and smashed that shit and said, Fuck you, little nigga. You don't deserve this shit. You ain't take out the trash. So now you just crying and shit. Is he dead? Did he go totally blind? Is that what happened? Is this a camera POV? Are we an eyeball POV? Don't do this to me, dude. <laughs> Hello? Stop! <laughs> Are we froze? Nah, we're good. The Federal Bureau of Investigation. Bureau of Investigation. The fundament. When shooting at the sky, aim slightly above the target. Although shooting at infected flocks often only injures the bird, it is the best method currently accessible. In the case of an attack by a large flock of birds, such as hawks or pigeons, the best weapon of choice is the shotgun. Aim for the center of the flock and load with bird shot. Okay. Town centered for national safety. The virus attacks the brain of the birds, causing them to call or almost uh. scream abnormally loudly, creating strange sound waves which can be deafening. Any human who hears the sound will likely go crazy or have the survival urge to go outside and silence the source of the sound. This, however, is dangerous due to the risk of inhalation of the Medusa virus in gas form. Here is a sample of the sound. So the virus is now affecting the birds. This sound has been censored for personal safety. Got you. Do not listen to this sound without being in restraints. Fight or flight is detrimental to logical thinking. That's the sound. That's the sound, chat. The off. Do you? Do you? Do you feel the stupidity rise inside of you? Join us. Join the side of stupidity. You don't want to be a part of the humans anymore. Join our side. Succumb to the sounds. Let them fill you up. Let them Ducky, this is not how you get a better targeted demographic. <laughs> I can't watch this guy anymore. <laughs> we interrupt our programming at the request of the White House. This is the emergency alert system. All normal programming has been discontinued during this emergency. This is not a test. I repeat, this is not a test. Please stand by. Please stand by. This is a national Can we just restart the whole video? The virus is now known to infect birds of all types, from sparrows to eagles. Okay. Where it provides at all times, and lock doors and windows with locks even you cannot break through even with a key. Do you not learn lock picking. This is to keep you from leaving if you hear the shrieks of the birds. You hear the shrieks, you will lose control. So this thing wants to get you outside by any means necessary, son. It tries to get you with a smell. If you couldn't get that, it, it infected the birds. So now the birds will make a loud sound, making you want making you want to start to go crazy and then go outside again and then get infected with the gas. <coughs> but at first it started with just eye contact. It wanted to hit you with the eyes. It was like, if I can see inside your eyes, I'm gonna penetrate you like that. 
and it just seems to keep evolving no matter how many things that humans do to try and solve the problem okay can't do eyes let me get you with gas okay can't do gas let me get you with noise so now if it can't do noise what's it gonna get you with now this prevents your own escape the case you hear the shrieks you will lose control the fight or flight response will be activated upon the brain registering the sound going outside will be uncontrollable or inevitable when this happens and inhalation of the medusa viruses Lock yourself in before the angels take you. Your screams will be drowned by the sound of the sirens in the sky. Losing control of your body and mind is immediate. Ignore the vultures, cleaning meat off the bones of the dead. Why must we learn to live deaf? Why must we learn to live deaf? Oh, I'm so sorry, you ain't never seen that shit again. I miss the smells of the market. I'm sorry, you ain't never going outside again. I'm I miss my friend. She looks into the wrong eye. Them niggas is dead! What happened to human power? <sighs> we thought we had it all in the bag. I can't see the slime anymore. Alright, stop. Come on. Hello? What I love about these analog horror series chat is like, they're so good that they seem real. Like if you were just like totally oblivious to the world, you would think this could have happened way back in the day, bruh. You, you would be like, wait, did that actually happen before? You know, like if you were totally just oblivious to history, you'd be like, wait, did something like that actually happen? This one, the Godzilla one, people's creativity is beyond beyond crazy, bro. They're act like they're actually just sitting here and creating art with nothing but a computer, right? Nothing but a computer and grabbing footage they find online and then just editing it in Sony Vegas, Adobe Premiere, CapCut or whatever, and making a whole ass series out of it that's beautiful nigga thank you i thought this was real no no this is fake dude they're all fake if you think this is real you might want to log off the internet too you ain't ready yet someone might if this is gonna get you if this is gonna get you my nigga you're screwed dude the next predator has got you in the bag. You are getting groomed. Log off, buddy. I get scared too easily saying, bro. I'm a pussy too. Don't don't feel alone. Look at my boy. What is he in? He's in a dope premiere over there, dude. Oh, this is probably outside his house. Someone is at your door. My nigga's adding 3D animation to this bitch. You're cold, buddy. You're cold, buddy. You're ice cold, buddy. Hold on, son. You ain't been watching the news, my nigga? They said don't go outside. Don't open the door. Stay inside at all times. What you Don't even worry about the door, my nigga. The, the gas can come in. I'm, this is what happens when you're a certified gooner, chat. When you're a certified gooner, you miss what's happening in the world. Because you're just too busy gooning, my nigga. You're too busy gooning. Pornhub has taken you in so much. All you know is me, Khalifa, Alexis, Texas. That's it. You ain't ever seen the news. Thank you.
Phil Barlow, yeah. Martin well, Why Hardy. are you calling so late? It's like, what, 9 p.m.? Well, it's 12, but this is a four. What's up? Just check the news. Food shortages everywhere. First that I contact, now we can't even grow crops free. Hey, listen, I'll call you back later. I'm, uh, up to something right now. Going right, but check the articles it's sent over. Also, don't call me back. Why, something up? Nah, just the government being strict on telephone usage. Anyway, stay safe. Okay, I'll call you tomorrow. See ya. Alright, bye. Bro has really not been in touch with the news, bro. He just been editing the whole time. My nigga's locked in. He's on grind mode, chat. He ain't seeing what's going on in the world. It's all been locked into the work. Look at him. He's just editing all day. Day in the life of a normal Twitch streamer? You ain't even wrong. <laughs> you ain't even wrong. If you're not live, you, you, you're usually editing, right? Check these articles out, bro. Thousands shocked as nationwide food shortages hit the UK. The Medusa virus's effect on crops leave local farmers and towns starving. Strange black sludge which seems to limit crop life span. Cannibalism takes over streets of Thailand as many struggle to eat. Oh? Breaking detected. Someone came to eat you, nigga! Your last stream was my first beating it while not getting caught W first stream in GL. Yeah, you gotta get banned. I don't know who just said that, but you're done. <laughs> you're done, son. <laughs> you're done. <sighs> Knew it was coming and I still jumped like a bitch. Look at me. What do you see? Who the hell are you? What kind of is Simon there shit is this? Is Simon <laughs> Nigga! Is Simon there? Let's take a moment to clap real quick. It's not over yet, but clap, nigga. Clap. No, 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 this is art. This is freaking art. Like the lead up, the animation, the news articles, the, the score. W's in the chat, dude. W's in the chat. Bro, no, he cooked. This is beautiful to watch, man. This is beautiful to watch. This is the type of shit that'll really give you nightmares, and that's how you know it's some good shit. What's the next way to spread the virus? I think we just found it. Yeah, they just break into your house, bro. <laughs> Imagine watching cartoons before Ben 10. I'm sorry. Rope finna crash out. <laughs> it 
Is he just infected sitting on the couch or are we at someone new? Looks like the Medusa virus is going through all the senses. First sight, next smell, then sound. And this newest one being a black sludge that affects crops being taste. I see. Also touch though, right? Because they're just breaking in the crib. All right, they're like, all right, we can't get you through fucking any other site. We're just going to do this by force. We're just going to get niggas to start running through doors. That's how we're going to infect you. This is the version. This is not a test. I repeat, this is not a test. Please stand by. Seventy seven percent of the population infected. Must be, must be good to be a fucking in the lab right now, cause you're good. For the most part. So you get paralyzed when this information to those who may remain alive. May God help us at all. When you feel a warmth on your neck, you just get paralyzed. Or a cold wrap around you. Alright. Those weren't great new symptoms. Sounds like y'all not making any leeway, my nigga. As for recent discoveries conducted by drainage professionals. The Medusa virus has found its way into our ventilation and drainage. This means that the use of aircon or ventilation is strictly disallowed. Damn. Damn. Do not turn on your aircon. If a thick orange gas seems to seem from any drainage, be sure to cover your mouth and tell your children goodbye. Damn. Lock yourself inside. And make sure to consistently clean drainage pipes with any cleaning fluid registered to limit the spread of contamination. If, however, your complex relies on ventilation to filter and bring in fresh air, I'm sorry. <laughs> clean your pipes and restrict AC usage. Stay Medusa free. TF is this virus, Maharega. Dog, you can't survive it, dog. It finds a way to evolve. You can't survive this. Now even the filter, now remember in the beginning they gave them whole filters, dog. Remember they were like, we're gonna send everybody a filter. Them shits don't work now. Now it's in your pipes too. Fuck a shower, nigga, I'm stinking. You're done. Wait, what? Is that the guy that is getting choking out right now? Is he getting... What's happening? Is that the guy that got broken in on? Is he getting fucked up right now?
This shit in our walls too goddamn. Dog. So the, uh, yeah, that nigga in the house who was editing all day, he thought he was safe, he died. Clearly you can't survive this. Tell your kids goodbye, it's over. The doctor's saying, stay calm, we're gonna find a cure. Them niggas not finding no cure because all they're telling us is more symptoms that you can possibly get. Hey, we found out other things you might feel before you die. <laughs> let me let you know about that. Let me let you know about some other things you might feel before you die, buddy. That was actually a good one, dude. Stone Cold Full Series. I don't want to do the whole compare and contrast thing, but I, this is my favorite one so far. I'm going to keep it a buck. Out of all the analog horrors we've seen, this was my personal favorite. Probably because it sold me on that animation.